Now let's try to explore the other two options that it provides. Now this is the new link that I would like to share with the students and again it is based on regularization. So I'm going to click this again and this time I would like to ask a question based on this link. So I click on ask question and then I choose the relevant class. So this is the class. Okay, now again, here itself, it gives you the interface wherein you can frame the question. So let's say my question is name one method used to avoid overfitting. So this is my question. And now what I would like to do is that the students should read this article and based on this, they should be able to answer. Again, here you can fill in any instructions. Here you can assign it the number of points. Let's say this is one point. You can give a due date and you can assign it a topic. Let's say introduction and this is it. Now, what you just have to do is click on ask so the question is posted now if you click on view again your classroom page will open and you will be see that the question has been posted to the students right now let's say I would like to use the same page and post it as an announcement so this can be any page and that you feel should appear as an announcement for the students so i'm going to go back click my classroom and here instead of ask question now i'm going to click on make announcement now here i'm going to select the classroom so this is my classroom and let's say I want to share the message. Please read this article. And test will be held on 10 July based on this article. So this is an announcement and that's it. You just have to click on post and this announcement will go to the students. Now, if you click on view again, it will open up the classroom page. And as you can see, the announcement is posted right here. So this is the simple way that you can share any web page with the students by just clicking on this extension and you do not need to go into the classroom make any editing there you just have to use this extension and share your web pages easily with the students if i click this again and going back if i click on the class again Here again, if you can see push to students, so here it will show you some recent items that you have shared with the students. So these were some links that you shared and again received from students will show you the links that you have received from students. So this is how this works and it is really very simple and assistive. You can also click on open classroom here and it will take you to your classroom right here. So this is how share to classroom works, of course. I'm sure this all of these advanced features and this particular app will really help you in and ease your teaching and learning process. Thank you.